Hello and welcome back to our AutoCAD Architecture 2008 CAD clips, um, getting you up to date with all the new features. We're talking about annotative objects and annotation, which is a really nice new feature that we uh, we appreciate. And with it, we can use uh, paper space as well to further enhance it. And we've had all kinds of lisp routines and fancy little macros to do a lot of what has now been fixed with the finally with this annotation scale. So in paper space, it takes it to a step further. If we go into our paper space and if we can't see those, you can um, go back into here and you can right click down here below and turn on the uh, visibility of your model and papers, paper space tabs. Um, and inside of here, we have two viewports. If I click on a viewport now, we will see that, first of all, we can um, lock the viewport. That way, you know, we can't go inside and, and zoom with it. That's one new feature there. But that's uh, not related to the scale. And now we have viewport scale. So either from within the viewport, okay, or um, from outside the viewport, if you click the viewport, you can set the viewport scale the zoom scale to be you know whatever you want say a quarter inch no oh, that didn't move let's try something else uh, let's go three sixteenths okay now you'll see the annotation update one eighth of an inch all of a sudden the annotation comes back three thirty seconds annotation disappears again sixteenth of an inch annotation comes back so those annotations okay are associated to the different scales Okay, so I can do that from clicking on the viewport or I can go into the viewport and set it back to be one eighth of an inch equals one foot. It's always a good idea to position yourself centered on what you want first before you go in and hit your zoom scale. Okay, your um, viewport scale and then the annotations follow the rules we explained in the previous lesson which is do they show or do they not show now click double clicking out here gets me out of the viewport and we have our same two buttons on here which is you know show me only the objects that are reading this annotation if I click on here this has an annotation scale when I click on here this has an anno now notice that you can click both and they vary and I can turn around and set both of these to the same scale annotation and viewport and then it'll update okay sometimes you you will find the annotations don't update the way you want and what I find the result is I try a regen and a regen all and the easiest way sometimes is to go in here and reselect your um, scale factors for your viewport and your annotation and then all of a sudden you'll see it adjust so sometimes a regen doesn't work and if you if your dimensions or your annotations are kind of going wonky on you and they're not behaving the way you expect sometimes it's a matter of going back into here and resetting your annotation and your viewport scale to be this way And I always, uh, also notice that when you change your annotation scale here, in fact, it changes your viewport scale at the same time. If I go into here and I, let's double click, I click on here and I go to annotation scale and I set this to be an eighth of an inch, it zooms it and also sets the uh, viewport scale at the same time. Okay, so that's a nice feature. So again, we can have them different. Okay, so this viewport can have one viewport scale and annotation scale you can vary them okay I can have the the uh, viewport scale independently of the annotation scale oh it looks like they're following so I there must be a set var somewhere in our options that lock these two objects I haven't found that yet so um, I'm sure that's what that is so these two are talking to each other and then from there on in it's a matter of each individual object when we right click and we go down into the annotative management which scales they've been set to use and there from there it's a matter of using these buttons down inside of here so paper space we love and now we can uh, manage our viewports independently by selecting here and setting our annotation and viewport scale and if the annotation is using that scale it'll show up and if the annotation is not set to use that scale it will disappear and then we can say, oh, I want to see it anyway and pick on this button. And this button simply turns everything on regardless for all the viewports. 
okay and remember you can always click on here and do more than one viewport at a time we've also got a new viewport option just off screen here if you click on here you'll see that uh, if you've selected a viewport and you click on here you'll notice that you have the viewport scale so you can turn the visibility of this on and off if you want to by right clicking on our pull down menu over here